Uh, actually, uh, with the support from the government and the local organizer, we have all the facility, we have all the setup, which is really push us to do the uh, great work for them. And uh, as you've seen, uh, everybody happy. Uh, the driver having uh, all the facility. I think we can uh, run the show in a good way. I mean, that's my main focus for this weekend. Um, obviously, I'd like to just come out here and win, but uh, obviously the championship's the most important thing. So we can uh, take the championship back again, keep the number one on the boat. Great if I can win the world championship, but probably that's at the expense of Colin uh, um, having, a, having a problem in the race, which would be a shame. Um, so really as a team, we're trying to go for first and second. I'm going to try and win the race, Colin uh, is going to try and win as well. well hopefully we won't take each other off and uh, we'll finish first and second overall. Yes, I, I go here for win, but uh, 17 points uh, is uh, so difficult win. Uh, I lost uh, my World Cup in Saudi for engine problem. It's important for, uh, for my team to try to secure the, the overall uh, leadership. Uh, so uh, it's it's necessary for me to pick uh, to take some points uh, all, all the way.
Really, this is a World Championship speed record. And this is for me the first time I race in World Cup and they get a World Championship in the speed record, which is good for my country and my team. This particular one's a Danish built moldguard with um, complete carbon fibre Kevlar moulded um, boat with the actual cockpit reinforced as a safety cell and um, if you actually turn the boat over there's uh, flotation devices that trigger off with big airbag and the boat pops out of the water. Oh, it's super light. I mean, all up, the whole thing will weigh 500 kilos, just over. And uh, we're getting to speeds of around about 120 miles an hour. So it's, uh, it's a very good uh, power to weight ratio. Propellers are free, we can run uh, any propeller we like, which is one of the most expensive parts of the sport. Um, keeping those secret is um, one of the guarded things. Um, you need a reasonable length straight so that the guys can stretch their legs a little bit and then you also need a couple of challenging corners um, to try and sort everybody out. Um, alongside obviously we have to look at the uh, topography of the area and here specifically we have a, a small reef uh, right near the edge of the course so we've had to put in a right hander to keep the course out towards the uh, middle of the channel here but apart from that we have no water depth problems in the area that we're working in, so it should be okay. Well, um, I think it's a good circuit. Uh, maybe a little long for what I would prefer, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's good. Uh, one right-hander and uh, I think it will be an exciting circuit to watch, actually.